Ziga Vertov's Man With A Movie Camera is an influential piece of silent filmmaking, with its groundbreaking techniques regarding cinematography and editing. The film is without narrative, chronicling 24 hours in a single day of a nameless Russian city. The film does not centre on one specific subject, but many. Public transportation? Factory machinery and the factory workers, athletes, ballet dancers, and leisure time at a beach. Roger Ebert states in his review of the film, in regard to the lack of narrative, he felt film was locked into the tradition of stage plays, and it was time to discover a new style that was specifically cinematic. Movies could move with the speed of our minds when we are free associating, or with the speed of a passionate musical composition. They did not need any dialogue, and indeed, at the opening of of the film he pointed out that it had no scenario, no intertitles, and no characters. It was a series of images, and his notes specified a fast-moving musical score. The intention to discover the cinematic with this film, and to not replicate other silent films that focused more on narrative, was achieved through the film's use of unconventional at the time, cinematographic techniques. Man with a movie camera, literally depicted in the film as a man carrying a tripod through the city, is portrayed as filming via experimental and unique methods, such as filming on the back of a vehicle in motion, or placing the camera in between train tracks, waiting for the camera to film underneath an oncoming train. This inventive portrayal of the filmmaker is a reflection of Vertov and his crew's attempts to film, discovering new radical methods of filming that were uncommon in the silent era. The film demonstrates a variety of shot types and framing, such as a tilted shot or the frame within a frame, and camera movements, such as a handheld camera swerving from a height, reflecting what an eye might see when swiftly looking around, which demonstrates the forward-thinking ability of the film crew. These types of shots may be more commonplace in cinema today because of their implementation in this film. Regarding editing within Man With A Movie Camera, Roger Ebert states later in his review, Considered as a visual object, Man With A Movie Camera deconstructs this process. It assembles itself in plain view. It is about itself, and faults into and out of itself like origami. The film's editing is meant to be observed. More commonly in films is an invisible edit encouraged, one that does not necessarily draw attention to itself, but with Man With A Movie Camera, the editing is at the centre of the film. Techniques such as slow motion, jump cuts, split screen and overlays are used throughout the film. Even stop motion animation is implemented in the film during a sequence where a camera and its tripod seems to become sentient, having a life of its own. Once again, although these techniques may be more commonplace after Vertov's film, jump cuts were famously used in Goddard's Breathless, and slow motion has been used from sports broadcasting to Wes Anderson films. Before Man With A Movie Camera, they were certainly not as commonplace. The editing manages to construct cohesive sequences together from various images, an empty theatre, a projectionist setting up the projector and film reel, seats that seem to invite an audience as they slowly shuffle in. All Lola's shots are from various locations within the theatre. Once edited together as a sequence, it becomes clear that the theatre is being prepared for the screening of a film, a film implied to be Man with a Movie Camera. In conclusion, Ziga Vertov's Man with a Movie Camera implemented many techniques regarding cinematography and editing that were experimental and radical at the time but have now become more commonplace. Man with a Movie Camera seems to suggest that even if these techniques had been used in earlier, more experimental films, Vertov's effort has established them as substantial, worthwhile techniques to use in cinema that followed and the future of cinema that is yet to come.